kung gusto mo yung isang bagay, ma-achieve mo yan kasi gusto mo. Kasi yes. gagawin mo siya ng paraan para yun makuha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell for you to get updated for all my future uploads. By the way, my name is Raymond, your Pinoy nurse here in Ireland. Okay, so, what's up? so this is another sit-down vlog for all of you and this is just a part two of our first video about NMBI step-by-step -step tutorial. And now we are going to talk about the documents that you need to secure in completing your NMBI application, okay? And if you haven't watched my first video, please do so. I will just put the link in the description box. As you know guys, NMBI has launched a new platform and that made the whole process easier, sort of and of course faster. Now that's debatable. I know guys, it's quite overwhelming the list of documents that you need to secure but let us be guided by this video and today we are going to be joined by one of the applicants who's working in Saudi Arabia and let's hear her experience on completing all those documents. So without further ado, Let's meet her now. All right, guys. So as I mentioned earlier, we are going to discuss about the documents that you need to submit and the documents that you need to prepare for your NMBI application. And of course, it would be best if we are going to hear the experience of one applicant, kung paano niya nakuha at na attain yung mga documents nida. All right. Without further ado, I have Rovi Chini from Saudi Arabia. Hi, Rovi. Hello, Raymond. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for unlocking us at our channel. I'm glad to help. Man, sabi ko nga. Exactly. So, brief introduction lang sa sa kini mo, Ruby. My name is Ruby, Ruby Chini. Um, I've been working here in Saudi Arabia for five years already, and I've been working as a nurse for thirteen years. I got eight years experience in the Philippines, so total thirteen years. Wow, matas tas niya sa salary scale, Ruby. Yes. Ah, nag-upload ako ng mga documents ko last February seven this year, and then narisip ko yung feedback mga around April first week ng April. So nagintay ako ng two months for me. No, matagal tayo, no. At least nagarisip ko na ng feedback. From them, so it's been a long time really because of the pandemic. I don't know. Hindi pinansin naman yung application ko. So we're going to talk about the documents. So I have the list here actually. So we're just gonna discuss it. Kung paano mo siya nakuha at paano mo na attain. Alu na ang concern ng mga nurses, yung mga nasa overseas like you, nasa Saudi Arabia ka. So let's start with the passport. So paano mo ba na process yung passport mo? Actually, ang inupload ko ng passport is hindi siya certified. Nagbigay ng feedback ang NMBI. Humingi sila ng certified um, sure passport copy. copy. Accepting body lang nila na nag-certify is notary public, commissioner yes. for oaths, for lawyer, and justice of the peace. So dito sa Taif, notary public lang ang meron kami. Dito, sobrang mahal. 200 riyals SR. per document. Oh my God. Oo, oh, oh, totoo. I feel you. Ganyan din. Investing. Sige lang, go. Investment. Secondly, did you provide birth certificate? Actually, no. Kasi doon sa doon sa website, wala namang hininging birth certificate or marriage contract or anything. So, nung nagbigay sila ng feedback ulit, humingi sila ng marriage contract. Certified through copy ulit. Okay. So, yung hindi naman ako dito sa mga documents ko na original uh, marriage contract from PSA. So, yun ang pinacertified through copy ko from the notary public. NBI asking for marriage contract kasi kasal o oh, married. Married, married yung status ni, <laughs> ni Rovi. You did not provide any birth certificate anymore. Sa mga subscribers natin na single naman, I am pretty sure they will be asking for a certified true copy ng inyong birth certificate. So, sa na-encounter ni Rovi, wala talaga dun sa upload tab ng NBI yung birth certificate or marriage contract. Kasi passport lang, di ba? Yun nandun. Yes, uh -oh. Passport lang kasi hindi dun. So, kung ano lang yung hinihingi talaga ng website, yun lang. Yun lang talaga yung pinrobide ko. May hinihingi din kasi ang NMDI sa akin na ipapacertify pro copy ng POR with clinical and theoretical hours. Okay. So, nandun ko yung original sa Philippines. So, in-ask ko yung father ko na dalhin din sa nagnanotary. 
Yes. So, ako naman, in-email nila sa akin. So, sa Pilipinas, kahit sa notary public, kasi ang kailangan lang naman natin is certified true copy. Hindi natin kailangan, guys, ng authenticated pa ng DFA. Yung red ribbon, hindi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm curious, uh, Ruby, magkano yung binayad mo sa notary? Sa Pilipinas, magkano yung binayad nila? Kasi tingnan lang sa father ko, eh, kung magkano. Ano yun? Mas... Ah, uh, mura. Bayad. <laughs> uh, probably less than 500, sometimes less than 300 pa nga siguro yan. So, pag-usapan natin qualification form. So, pag sinabi qualification form, ano ba to? Ano nga bang document to for them to know? Uh, qualification form, yun yung, ano, yun yung form na ina-upload sa web, uh, dinadownload sa website. So, yes. kailangan yun kailangan ng fill up siya ng DIN or principal. Tapos, okay. yung, yung course description or syllabus. Yung syllabus ko, ano lang, three pages lang ba yun o four pages? Uh-oh. Pero yung kasama ko ko, nag-FEU no? pa, 1,000 plus. 1,000 plus pages for syllabus niya. So, nag- put, nagtanong siya sa akin, ba't daw ganun? Kaya hirap na hirap siyang i-compress. Basta kinompress niya yes. yun. Tapos yun, sinend niya rin sa email. Sinend niya yes, sa email. email. Nila. For um, the school documents, so kailangan yung completed qualification form. Tama ka naman, it has to be Uh, downloaded sa NMBI. Tapos, it has to be filled out by the dean or the principal. Or sometimes nga ngayon, inaalam na ng NMBI na registrar ang mag-fill out nun. For as long as, ma- mapirmahan lahat ng documents with the same date. Sabi ko nga, weird naman na same date na yun. Sinabi nila sa akin, or nareceive ko sa email, please ensue the date and the signature on the transcript corresponds with that on the qualification form. So, ang pagkakaintindi ko, yung mga documents kailangan, iisa lang sila ng date. Lahat na nanggaling sa school. Na-accomplish mo yun, na same date. Na-accomplish Nung nareceive ko kasi yung mga documents, hindi ko na siya tinignan isa-isa. Din- in-upload ko siya lahat talaga sa, uh, sa NMBI. Tapos nung nag-email ako ulit sa school, chinek nila yung mga documents ko. The same naman talaga lahat ng date. Ang naiba okay. lang talaga, yung sa front page. Yung qualification form, yung... May date kasi doon sa yung... taas. Yes, sa... Uh... Yeah, date kasi doon, yun kasi kung kailan ko binigay sa kanila yung qualification form. Exactly. So sabi ko sa Mr. ang sabi kasi sa akin is the same date daw lahat. So pinapaiba ko rin yung first page, yung uh-huh. date doon sa first page. Ang sabi ng registrar, hindi daw kasi yun daw yung time na ibinigay nila, binigay ko sa kanila yung form. So, form. no need daw yun na kuhin. Have you checked your documents kung same lang yung signatory? So, same na tao lang? Yes. yes. Same na tao lang. Din, uh-huh. Yung din lang din talaga ang signatory dun sa lahat uh-huh. ng document. Yung diploma, have you uploaded a new diploma or yung diploma mo lang na nasa iyo? Tapos pina-certified mo lang? Meron akong original copy. Ang yun akong in-upload, hindi siya certified through copy. So, okay. nung na-receive ko yung feedback, kailangan daw ipa-certified through copy yung diploma. So, another 200 reals ulit. <laughs> so, at least, yung copy ng diploma mo, no need naman to be updated or new. For as long as, you can secure no. a certified copy of that. Okay, that's good. Kailangan uh, sa notarized lang siya. So, medyo madugo yung mga certified through copy nung dami kailangan i-certified. Pero mabilis lang naman, no? Yes, mabilis lang. In one day naman, ma-accomplish yun. Ang sabi ng father ko, by appointment daw yung pag notary sa Pilipinas kasi nga, nililimit lang yung uh, tao sa office. Yeah. Sa bagay, so, sa Pilipinas naman, marami ding notary public. So, <laughs> maghanap-hanap na lang din ang mga notarya. Now, eto na, ang pinaka intay ng lahat yung sa PRC documents. How did you submit your good standing certificate? Nag-apply ako email. I, I mean online. Through okay. online, nagkuha ko ng appointment and then three weeks or one month ata yung appointment na inabot nung akin. Pinuntahan ng sister ko sa Pampanga. Doon kasi ako nagpa-appointment dahil yun na yung may slot. Doon niya kinuha and then i-email sa akin. So asay sa good standing sa PRC, ano pa yung mga ibang documents and your request mo? Actually, yun lang. Tapos dito sa Saudi Arabia, certificate of good standing din from Saudi Council. Yes. Hindi ka na nag-add ng mga board passing, board certificate, board rating. Hindi na oh. ako. Nag-try akong nag-request ng mga board rating, board passing. Pero kasi yung year 2007, wala na dun sa system nila. Ah, okay. So, hindi, hindi ako nag-request na kasi wala na siya sa system. So, okay. ang na-request ko lang is yung ang certi- uh, certificate of good standing. Yeah, that's good to know, ha? Kasi yung iba, so, nag- 
walang message from NBI. Walang message ko ng board, board uh, passing. Nag-upload din ako ng board, board certificate, pero that was yung nakuha ko pa noong 2007. Original, okay. Yung may lupon, yes, yun. Yes, lupon ng mga Cristiano Nars. Tapos hindi naman na ako nila hininga ng iba pa. So, Certificate of Good Standing from Saudi Arabia. Mabilis lang naman kumuha, no? Kasi online lang. I-email lang sa'yo, right? Uh, pati yung certificate ng Saudi Council, pinatranslate ko pa yun sa English kasi nakaritin, nakaritin written siya sa Arabic. Yung ba yung may, may school na nakalagay? Na certificate? Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, Uh-huh. Yung Nala- so, kung nasa Saudi Arabia kayo, just supply that, that kind of document then. Now, employer naman. So, ang question dito, debatable kasi ito eh. Kasi sabi ng NBI, you can upload your latest employment. ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Pero may mga experience ibang subscribers or y- yung ibang applicants na hiningan din sila ng employment certificate from the previous employers. Now, I want to ask you, How did you do it? Uh, actually, hininga nila ako ng previous uh, employment. Yung pinasa ko kasi, wala, talagang bare lang siya. Walang stamp or signature ng yeah. cheaters. May nareceive akong feedback from NMBI. na yung previous employment ko has to be stamped by the chief nurse, head nurse. Binalik na naman ng father ko sa hospital, pinastamp niya. <laughs> Pinas- pinastamp ko na yung lahat ng page, per page yung pinastamp ko. Ah, uh, just to be sure. Uh-uh. Dito sa Saudi Arabia, parang kasi ako ng problema. So, hininga nila ako ng, ano, ng confirmation kung currently employed pa rin ako. So, nag-secure ako ng verification letter dun sa hospital namin. And then, dun ko nalaman na yung ginagamit kong hard date is mali pala. Actually, yung unang employment form na pumirma is yung head nurse ko. Eh, nasa bakasyon siya ngayon. Employment form ko na may tama, tama na yung hard date, pinagawa ko dun sa DOM. So, okay. until now, inyuntay ko pa. <laughs> okay. Regarding dun sa employment form, di ba meron dun level of competency? So, maraming mm-hmm. nalilito. Ano nga bang ilalagay doon? Saan ba tayo base In your experience, saan mo kinuha yung level of competency? Then, sa guidelines ng NMD, ay ina- uh, dinownload ko kasi yon tapos binasa ko. Okay. May may part doon yung mga level of competency. Yun ang sinabi ko doon sa, ano, sa head nurse namin. Ah, so pre-provide mo yung level of, yung, yung competency uh-huh. guidelines na yun. Okay. Binigay ko kanya yung copy. Binigay ko sa kanya yung copy ng competency. Nasa applicant user guide yun. Sa applicant user guide. But next one to five ata yung nandoon. Yes. Pero four and five, four, eh, four and five is actually parang equal lang. Reading the applicant user guide talaga is really helpful. Mm-hmm. Kasi dun, dun naman lahat eh, as I mentioned to sa first video, yun yung pinaka-bible natin and guide. So yun guys, so it... Technically, it has to be signed by your um, director of nursing. Pero po kung wala naman, your immediate superior can do that. Okay? For as long as to secure the signature and also stamp. Importante yung stamp, guys. And by the way, dun sa hospital mo ba, yung stamp nila is dry seal or yung stamp na ano talaga? Mo yung stampad lang. Stampad. stampad. Okay. Kasi may iba kasi na dry seal. Problema naman, yung... hindi makita sa scan. There is also, because merong din experience ng... Pinahanap naman nila ng NMBI is the work gap um, explanation. Did NMBI ask you for that? Eh, hindi nila ako hinanapan ng work gap. Humingi sila ng, humihingi sila ng explanation sa akin bakit ako nag-work sa Saudi Arabia nang wala pang license. Okay. Gumawa ka ng narrative and then you just emailed it to them? Uh, gumawa, ako ng, gumawa ako ng letter na nag explain talaga na nung dumating ako dito, nakapasa na ako ng Prometric so I'm qualified to work na kahit wala pang license kasi dumating ako dito uh, June 7 pero yung, li- pero yung license ko ng Saudi Council is lumabas ng November okay. so they asked me for an explanation as to why I was working uh, during that time nang wala pang lisensya so doon mo makikita guys yung mga gustong mga documents ng NBI really varies sa applicants yung iba naman work gap Yun ang There's no specific form for the explanation that you made. So you just like narrative lang. I'm sure itatanong nila, paano mo naman ini-email back yung mga documents na inaas nila? Yan man yung sabi sa akin ng assessor. Um, 
yung mga documents, if ever daw na hindi ko ma-upload dun sa website, pwede kong i-email dun sa TED. Binigyan ka lang diba ng reference number? Yes, meron. Meron siyang LOA reference. Kasi they're using that to open your account. Kasi, for example, mag, mag message ka sa kanila without any reference number, medyo magugulumihanan sila. Mukha lang marami yung documents, pero marami naman talaga. Pero everything can be achieved. Yes, ma-access. Yan nga lang. Mag-iintay. Mag-iintay kasi especially dito kasi Ramadan ngayon. Ang hirap kasi from night duty ka, tapos pupunta ka ng, pupunta ka ng, has, ng hospital para magkuha ng mga documents. Mahirap. Sacrifice talaga. Totoo. Para sa pangarap. Sabi ko nga kahit anong mangyari, Ireland talaga. Sa Ireland ako pupunta. <laughs> o, oh, saka nasimula mo na. Diba? Nasimula mo na. Yes. Finish, finish the race. Diba? Yung mga two months na yun, sabi ko nga sa'yo, tormenting two months. Sabi ko, ano ba? mag apply na ba ako sa UK? Kasi yung IELTS ko, pumasak din siya sa UK. Pero binubulok talaga ng heart ko sa Ireland ka, Rovi. Ireland ka. Uh, <laughs> maramdaman mo naman yan eh. Maramdaman mo yan. Waiting game na lang tayo, Rovi. For my last question for you, Rovi. Um, what mm-hmm. is your advice to those aspiring nurses? Lalo na ngayon kasi may mga nagpa-process medyo frustrated na sa alam mo yun, sa documents, sa delay. So what can you say? Huwag tayong susuko sa pangarap laban lang. <laughs> laban lang. Uh-huh. Pero talaga kung gustong-gusto mo talaga gagawan mo ng paraan. Ang str- may struggle din ako din sa school. Ayaw nilang i- i-provide yung yung mga documents na hinihingi. Kung gusto nila, sila mag-send NMDR. Directly, yes. So, so sabi ko, ma'am, kasi may bago ng system. Binigay ko yung user guide. Sinan ko sa kanila yung user guide. Tapos gumawa pa ako ng letter. Kung gusto mo yung isang bagay, ma-achieve mo yan kasi gusto mo. Kasi yes. gagawan mo siya ng paraan para yun makuha. Continue chasing our dreams lang. Pasasaan ba at the end, makukuha din natin yung mga pangarap natin na yan. And ask for His guidance. Exactly. Amen um, to that. Pray, pray. Yan talaga yung ano natin. Yan yung magbibigay sa atin ng hope, yung prayers na yan. Prayers can move mountains, sabi nga nila. And it's exactly. true. Ruby, thank you so much ha, sa pagpapunlock dito sa ating uh, video. Okay? Discussing about the documents. Yung mga documents na needed or NBA is asking really vary sa mga applicants kung ano yung mga nakikita nila discrepancies or any verification that they need so we just need to supply them those documents so waiting game na lang tayo sa ROV and I'm so excited na malaman soon na may decision letter ka na di ba? kaya nga actually, actually I'm praying for the PIN na <laughs> oh, for the PIN na malay mo automatic registration ka di ba? thank you ah thank you ROV for, for this uh, chance that you have given Uh, for giving me a chance to share my experiences. Yeah, no problem, no problem. And I really appreciate it. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't done it yet, please do subscribe to my channel and follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!